because you've written a book, haven't you, about your famous... Well, about your heroes, really. Yeah, uh, I think all people in my position have got heroes, and I did it a long, long time. I, w I was uh, talking about motor racing before Formula One began, yeah. actually, because my first commentary was in 1949. So Ooh. I've seen all the great Sean, right from Fangio to Michael Schumacher and Fernando Alonso, and I just thought I would like to pick the greatest of them in my eyes mm. and say what I thought about them. Mm. My, my first television commentary was in 1949, the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. And a chap called John Bolster, who was uh, one of the leading drivers at the time, lost his ERA and came barreling down the road. What's an ERA? Me. What? What's an ERA? Uh, English Racing Automobiles, Thank it you. stands for. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, <laughs> and he was thrown out in front of me and I thought he was dead. And I thought, oh, they didn't tell me what to say about this. So I said, Bolster's gone off, which was a masterpiece of understatement. But... <laughs> he, he wasn't, though, was he? he no, was he was, right. no, he was Thank perfectly all right. So that yeah. means that you were commentating for 50 Ooh, was, uh, yeah, years. Before you were thought of, I suppose. Before, it, oh, <laughs> yeah. bless you. But a very, very long time. Yeah, 53 years yeah. When, I, when I stopped. So um, highlights, what were your highlights? Oh, uh, um, interviewing Enzo Ferrari himself, uh, I think the greatest man who's ever lived in the history of motorsport. Um, Nigel Mansell's a great personal mm -hmm. friend of mine and it was my privilege to commentate on him winning the 1992 World Championship. Damon Hill winning the championship in 1996. Mm -hmm. uh, and and so you must have his father as well. Yes, um, I was born into motorsport because mm -hmm. my father raced motorcycles mm -hmm. professionally from before I was born until I was about 15 years old. So I was either going to like it or loathe it, and I loved it. And I was in the army during the war in a tank regiment, and when I came out, I started racing motorcycles in the fond belief that I would show my father how it should really be done. And I very rapidly discovered that there was no way I was going to show him. And you know what they say, those that can, do, and those that can't, talk about it. Well, that's why we're here, Murray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everything, we can't do anything. <laughs> oh, was that a disappointment to you, though, if your dad... Was he a hero of yours when it came to um, motor racing? My, my father was uh, an absolutely wonderful man, a uh, giant personality, he was a big man physically. Uh, he was a fantastic commentator. He was the BBC. He was, he was, he was the BBC's well. motorcycle sport commentator oh. after he retired. Uh, and I think deep down, I, I've probably always wanted to emulate my father because I had so much respect for him. Mm. You knew them all. Who, in your mind, was the greatest driver? Well, it, it's an impossible question to answer, really, because you can't compare different drivers in different cars on different circuits, racing to different regulations. But having said that, <laughs> um, I think Fangio, the Argentinian who won five world championships, is the greatest. Michael Schumacher has to run him very close indeed. Ah, well, you mentioned Michael Schumacher, and of course there is a big debate about whether it's the car or the driver, because cars have progressed in terms of technology. What do you think, Murray? Well, uh, motor racing is unlike other sports. I mean, uh, 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 other sports do not depend on the equipment. As far as I know, one pair of football boots is much the same as another, mm. and one cricket bat is much the same as another. But you can be the best driver in the world, and if you haven't got a car that's good enough, to win, to win, you won't win. And if the car can be the best in the world, and if the driver is, so it's 50-50. Can really. you be a mediocre driver in a good car and still win? Then? No, absolutely no. not. Absolutely not. No, you can be a very good driver in a mediocre car and still win. Ah. Can you be a commentator and say, "I interrupt myself to bring you this"? Yes, and you can also <laughs> say, "There's nothing wrong with the car except it's on fire." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the best. Oh, lovely. Oh, I like a man who can take the mickey out of himself. Oh, you don't mind them at all. We've got a whole list of these. Do you yes, want we have. Them, I, we won't go there now. Murray, nice to see you. Thank you. Lovely to Thank see you. you.